So has, has all of this new anxiety that we didn't have uh, as writers because we came, we became citizens, we had, our paperwork was in place, we became, you know, we, uh, we were Americans up until, you know, a month ago, uh, qualified Americans. And now that is being thrown into question. Um, is that affecting the way you as writers um, see your work or the direction of your work? Um, in, in the near future? Is that affecting the decisions that you make about uh, issues or stories that you're going to write about? Um, yeah, it's, I, I mean, I always used to say that I hated this term immigrant novel or immigrant novelist and I would go everywhere I went for years like railing again say there's no such thing as the immigrant writer, now all Americans are immigrants, etc. Um, Philip Roth said I don't write in and in Yiddish, I write in English, I don't write in Hebrew, I write in English, I'm an American writer. And I would, you know, sort of echo that same sentiment. Um, there's a British no novelist who said once that the great thing about being from the West or from America or the US is um, it doesn't matter wherever we go, we're always expats. We never get branded as immigrants or migrants or refugees. Um, and now I think very explicitly I'm an immigrant writer and I want my work to be um, seen as such and to take it on without any, to take it on more forcefully, more explicitly, um, not only within the work, but I think within the way I think about it and I talk about it to sort of assert that very idea that what has become a problem hasn't been always and shouldn't be. Um, and if it is a problem, it's not so much about maybe trying to bend my ideas of what America is towards that, but try to remind America of what it always has been. Um, and not the other way around. So I don't want to be um, an American writer that's not an immigrant. 